Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. I thought, since everyone loved my last cleaning video, I thought I would do a video of me cleaning the rest of the rooms. However, yet again, I didn't have enough time. So all I've done today is clean the three bathrooms. They're actually a shower room, a bathroom, and the downstairs toilet. I focused on those three areas of the house and I filmed it for you guys. So the next cleaning video will be more of the bedrooms, I promise. I'm going to start with our shower room. Now this has been neglected completely. I don't tend to use this as I normally bath with Pollyanna in the evening in our bathroom upstairs. Adam uses this one daily and I feel like it's just been a li little bit neglected and there's smear marks all over the mirrors and Adam shaved his beard this morning so the sink just needs a really good clean and a scrub. First thing I always do is take everything that's on the sink and on the floors and take it out of the bathroom so that I can really clean the floors properly and really clean the sinks. At the moment we've got a lot of stuff from the spare room when we were moving things around and it got put into this bathroom and it never got put back so I'm able to sort that out today as well. I start by hoovering the floor, I'm using the laundry basket to keep the door open because this door always closes which is so frustrating. I'm going to grab the laundry mat and put that on a really hot... I've got my cleaning basket. I've got one of these for each floor. I've got one of these on each floor so I don't have to keep coming up and down the stairs every time. As I take everything off the sink, I'm putting things away and I'm also giving everything a good wipe down because it can get quite dusty. I'm going to go in with my flash bathroom spray and just spray over everything that I'm going to wipe down. I'm going to use Vicol on all of the shiny parts of the bathroom. So that's the shower, the taps... And I also use it to clean the shower screen and I do this on both sides of the shower screen. Once the sprays have been left for a couple of minutes, I'm going to go in and just give everything a wipe down and a good scrub and a clean. Then onto the toilet, I've got my gloves on for this and I'm using Dettol wipes. Um, I've got some left over so I'm just trying to make use of them. So I'm going to use a different one for each part of the toilet. I then use a scrub which I only use on the toilet to wipe around the toilet and give it another clean. I normally use a blue one, blue for loo, but I can't seem to get hold of them at the, in the supermarkets at the moment. I then add some Domestos bleach into the toilet and I also add some into the toilet brush cleaner and I empty that out because it can get quite grubby so I've given that a clean and now I'm adding some bleach into the actual toilet roll brush holder thing. <laughs> it's then time to get my feet wet and I go in with a microfiber cloth to clean and wipe down the shower screen. This normally is so good with the Vicryl, one wipe and it's done. There's a few bits where it's like filled up of shampoo or body wash that's gotten to the screen and that just needs an extra wipe. But I do both sides and the part on the inside I shower down with the shower. This windowsill can get quite dusty and I've noticed that cobwebs build up really quickly in here. So I'm going to give that a real good wipe and also put some window lean onto the windows and give them a wipe and around the windowsills. I'm going to bleach and then rinse the shower tray and give that a real good wipe. Obviously dirt can build up around the rims of the shower tray and also give the plug a little clean. Is in a stream. It's then time to stop putting things back onto the windowsill. So we have an artificial plant here, which I'm just going to rinse over. And we also put some shampoos and body wash, which I really hate it being out on show, but it's just easy for Adam. I'm then going to dust my towel rails and then I normally spray a cloth with Dettol and then wipe it down. because But I've used uh, my flash spray here at the moment, but it actually left it quite smeary. So for the next bathrooms, I made sure I had my Dettol spray. And lastly, it's time to clean the floors. Normally I use my mop, but I'm just going to use some spray and a cloth this time. The ocean call for you. the floors wasn't last the big mirror was last so I'm going to use window lean and some kitchen roll for this I find that it leaves no smears whatsoever Still, I'm in this game, but without my closest friend 
moving on to bathroom number two. This is not quite finished, so I feel like this does also get neglected because we're waiting for cabinets to go up and we've just got nowhere to put anything up here. However, it is used daily by myself and Pollyanna and Alfie, so I feel like it just needs a little bit of love sometimes. So same as always, bath mat out and everything in the bathroom to be gone. Still Note to self, buy a bath toy holder that clips or hangs onto the bath. In this game, but without my closest friend. So again I'm using the flash bathroom spray and I'm just spraying all the surfaces in the bathroom, the sink, the toilet, in the bath and even the outside of the bath. While that's all settling into the surfaces I'm going to hoover the floor and then mop it using the Vileda mop. Dettol spray was up in this bathroom so I'm going to use that, spray it onto a duster. It just leaves the rails looking so shiny and smear free. And there you have it, another tidy bathroom. So two down, one more to go. This is our downstairs toilet and it gets used, as you can imagine, so much throughout the day. So it's really important to keep this one as tidy and clean as possible. As always empty everything out and then go in with the hoover. I have to use a smaller attachment to do the skirting boards and down the corners. I've also dusted in this one because it gets really dusty in here. I'm using window lean and kitchen roll again for the mirror downstairs. <laughs> my Vileda mop again and this is great because it gets down the sides of the toilets and it also gets down the sides of my bath at the top of the house. I'm going to give all of Pollyanna's potty training things a good wipe over with some Dettol. I also always make sure I spray the light switches and door handles with the Dettol spray. And there you have it, three bathrooms done in about two and a half hours. It took quite a long time. I think it's the shower room that takes the longest. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.